Trace. And I'm Sam. And we are the son of a son of a sailor. And this is from our perspective. Welcome. Um, welcome. <laughs> welcome, everybody. To the what fif- episode is this again? That's the 59th. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't talk over you. <laughs> no, no, you shouldn't. It's rude. <laughs> And I don't like it very much. Oh, don't be like that. It is the 59th episode of From Our Perspective. Thank you all for listening. Um. Hmm. <laughs> what? Is something hmm. the matter? Um. The world's just crazy right now. And I know uh-huh. we've said this. Like, we've done we, it like. Yeah. Like, like the first time we were like, oh, it's no big deal. We made a couple of jokes. We were like, oh, it's no big deal. Got a couple of cases here and there. Um, we didn't fully under- We didn't fully know yet that China was lying about how bad it was for them. Uh, and it hadn't really gotten that bad in America. Last week, we were like, oh, crap. It's getting pretty bad. This week, it is exponentially worse. Now, here's the thing. How is it? I mean, I guess this is how it works. It's just going to keep going. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of people are saying that this could very well possibly lead into the summer. Cool. (laughs) Rad. Rad. Is that all you can say? Yeah. Cool. Cool. (laughs) I don't know. What else is there to be said? It's a catastrophe. It is. But here's the best part. I mean, there's not a lot of good things. But here's the best part. Now I know that something extremely historical has happened in my lifetime. Yeah, it's super cool. Well, yeah. there was 9-11. Oof. What? <laughs> <Oof>. Too soon? <laughs> Too soon. To, I'm to mention my, it? <laughs> I'm, t- I'm tugging at my shirt collar. Okay, so no, there's I'm, this. Yeah, I'm this is definitely no, that is true. momentous, I, I though. Don't. I don't typically think about that. I also didn't really think about the fact that we did have our first black president. Okay, maybe there... Well, but no, here's the thing. But, I, but think, I think you're thinking more of, like, a tragedy. Well, no, I'm... I think that, like... Because the Black Plague is still remembered. And that was uh-huh. hundreds of years ago. Yeah. So I think that hundreds of years from... Hundreds of years from... I can't speak. <laughs> um, I think that hundreds of years from now that um corona the the C word virus I know some people aren't saying it. Um, what? Is it like a boogeyman thing though? Well some people like literally like when a lot of so a lot of everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about it because it is literally taking the world by storm. It's like a new K-pop band. Yeah, it's like... Um, <laughs> what's the one that was really famous? BTS. It's like BTS. Um, but yeah, some people aren't saying what it's called. It's just... It's so weird. But I think hundreds of years from now that people are going to still remember... Like, Corona. Yeah, do you Maybe remember a that time everything stopped? Remember that time when the world shut down? And... America went into another recession really quickly. Yeah. That was fun. Hey, but, you know. Hey, that's don't, life. Get, don't get too down. That's life. All right. I was. The, here's the thing. I came home for spring break, and now I'm going to be home until next year. Forever. <laughs> now I'm going to be home forever. Who knows? Because if this goes, if this goes into the summer and doesn't slow down. Will they, if will this they goes into school? the summer, I'm going to go out and just start hugging people, and then I'm going to come home and lock myself in my room. I'm gonna go. And then I'll be done with it. <laughs> I'll either be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I will either exit that room, or I won't. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Um, I've had some interesting developments. Okay. Uh, in a week. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> and I know it's okay to talk about because I saw, so I know my mom had an issue with it. She didn't want us to spread anything around, but I saw it on social media that one of them was talking about it. Spencer County, the county that me and Sam live in, yes, has had so far, thus far, one confirmed case of coronavirus. That one confirmed case is my next door neighbor. 
That's funny. And mom, if you're listening to this, you know, I saw I saw someone in that household posting about it, so it's okay. I can say it. It's already public information. Also, I mean, how many people know your ad- address? That's true, but still, I don't want my mom to be mad at me. Um, she's going to be. She's gonna. She's gonna yell at you. She's gonna say, "You're a, you're bad." You're and she's bad. gonna tell you, "Go on time out." You're you're a you're being a real naughty guy. You're being a st- real stinker. You're a real stinker of a. She looks. Being. She looks at you. And she's. You're being a real shithead, James. But her eyes are like one inch farther apart than they are typically, and I'm like, "What is happening?" And then I wake up because it was just some weird, horrifying dream. <laughs> well, that's very strange. Um, but so that happened. Uh, there are like. 40 or so cases in Kentucky and one of those cases is literally my next door neighbors. I um, think but they're doing the most... good. They are doing good, I will say. They're doing fine. Uh the okay, guys uh he's they're all quarantined in their house. The guy who has it, he was a respiratory therapist, so of course he came in contact with it a couple weeks ago before it got bad. You know, it it's fine. It's fine. They're fine. He's in he's recovering slowly. Um Okay. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah, I just want to make sure that everyone... I'm not, like, making light of this situation where, like, my neighbor's dead. <laughs> <laughs> or anything, so. Um, also, uh, my car got broken into while it was parked in my driveway. I didn't tell oh my you God. about this. What? Yeah. Um, luckily, I didn't have anything too expensive in there. I think the... Um, so, I don't... I feel like I don't really know if anything got stolen. I don't think there was. I think maybe some of my like my you remember those metal dice I had for D and D for Dungeons and yeah. Dragons. Those aren't in my car anymore. But I mean, I never used them anyway. They kind of yeah. sucked. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, that was crazy. Uh, the world's gone to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> yeah. So now I, I keep uh, 20 loaded guns beside my bed. Uh, wow. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Um, but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And also I have Animal Crossing, so. Yeah. At least I have something to do. Quarantine, I, I, I've said this a couple of times. I don't know if I've said this to you privately. But I don't really, and you're the same way in this aspect. I don't really like to go out to begin with. Like, it's not my first choice if I could, if I... If yeah. I had the choice, I'd typically want to stay in. But now that I don't have the option to go out, it's absolutely driving me nuts. It's you're being bothered by it. I'm fine. I'm, I'm loving this. No, I'm really like it's the fact that I don't have like because even if I could, even if I wanted to go out, nothing's open, so I couldn't like go to a restaurant by myself. My cousin came over. He's he's been over a couple of days. We've been hanging out. And we got uh, food uh, for us. Like, like we ordered food for the group of us that are at my house. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the at the Mexican place down in town. Yeah. Um. They, we called. We were like, "Can we get a carryout order?" We walk in. It was desolate. It was like a wasteland. Mm-hmm. It was like. It was like in the cowboy in the in the western movies when like they walk into an empty saloon and there's just like you can see through the windows the dust particles just flying by and then you see a guy at the other end of the room and you're like hey uh we got the order with the two burritos <laughs> uh well so yeah even if i wanted to go out which yeah i mean i don't want to because i don't want to get sick like, even though I would be fine, there are people who are immunocompromised in my vicinity. Uh, yeah. So, even if I wanted to go out, I couldn't. But that's still driving, it's still driving me crazy. I have left my house twice in the last week. You're sick, Sam. You've been, you've been compromised. I'm going to have to put you down like old Yeller. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you meant, like, I was sick for only going out twice. You're sick. You're a sick bastard. Where'd you go? <laughs> the vet. My dog had a like a. I don't. Even, they didn't even. They didn't even say what it was. Really, Your it was dog like has a, a problem. <laughs> we were worried she was gonna die, but she didn't. So that's oh, good. Oh well, well, yeah, that's good. 
I like your dog. <laughs> Thanks. It's too bad the poison I gave her didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait a no, minute. Like anyway, let's get into the topic. Yeah, this let's seems get into the topic. Yeah, this... Well, hold on. One more thing. I just want to say, I think it's funny how you can almost follow... Like, if you were listening to this maybe a year or two in the future, you could listen to this these last three episodes and be like, this is how the, the country felt. This as is the coronavirus unfolded. This is going to be what plays like 20 years from now in the Mad Max future that is going to be America. Where, <laughs> you know, Tom Hardy is riding through the desert, but he also has his podcast app open and he's listening to our, our edu- edutainment podcast. <laughs> yeah. Not only is it educational, but it is a piece of history. Yes. No other now, podcast is documenting this. <laughs> yeah, none of them. <laughs> this outbreak is good as. Why is on. nobody talking about this? Why is no one else talking about this? Wake well, up, let's, people. <laughs> let's let's stop talking about the coronavirus and continue in our main topic talking. to talk about the coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Uh, we're not specifically talking about the coronavirus this week, but since everyone, it's tangentially related to it. Since everyone is practicing social distancing, or should be, or should be, um, ex- dude. So it, it it happened on spring break. I saw in the news that people were still going to beaches for spring break, and there's like a thousand people on this beach, like shoulder to shoulder. And they're like, I don't give a fuck about coronavirus. It's all frat. Boys. I'm drunk. <laughs> it's all like frat boys and sorority girls just being like, you know, I, I'll be fine. Um, Great. So. But it's whatever. Um, yeah, so since everyone should be social distancing and kind of staying in your houses, I know our governor of our state has said, don't leave unless you have to, which I want to say. Governor Bashir, I know you're listening to this. Uh, yeah, when it comes to one of handling, our committed to, listeners. Governor Andy Bashir, when, when it comes to helping a state through this <laughs> this this terrible time... <laughs> He's doing a good job. You're he doing is. a good I like job that he's... You're looking, because you're listening right now. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Doing a great job. I like that he's just always like making appearances to talk about how it's going and stuff. Have it's you good. noticed the decline, though? He started out the first the first thing that he did. He, he's like, he walks out, he's in a full suit, he's like, everything's okay. <laughs> you know, just be a little cautious out there. As time went on, he slowly started to get like more and more like disheveled. Mangled, like <laughs> disheveled. He's like he's walking out. He doesn't have a tie on anymore. His sleeves are like quarter rolled. He's like everything is okay. <laughs> he comes out next. He's got huge dark circles under his eyes. He's like, <laughs> you can tell everything's that, fine. You can tell that he's been weeping, but he's still he's still he's got like a five mind. o'clock shadow. Yeah, he's still keeping our eye, our minds at ease. <laughs> He is carrying the weight of the world, or at least of Kentucky, on his shoulders right now. Yeah. And I applaud Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about things you can do while quarantined. Yeah. Uh, because everyone who's smart is self-quarantining. Unless you, well, unless you actually can't because you're uh, Job, someone in the medical like profession medical or, or, you know, law enforcement or fire, fire, and fire, de- fire enforcement. What is that? The fire department? Well, that's like the place. That's not like the job field. <laughs> well, the firefighter. Oh, yeah. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, enf- yeah, that's the word. I'm enforcing this fire. <laughs> like throwing logs. <laughs> fire detainer. I- <laughs> fire putter outerer. <laughs> I am fire enforcer. <laughs> Last week it was Lingard Neymar. This week it's fire enforcement. I'm just an idiot, I think. Sometimes I think I'm an idiot. We're talking about what you can do in self-quarantine. Yeah. Because apparently Trace is going stir-crazy. I am. I'm really, like... I, I can't help it. Um, It's just like... I I don't know. So I, I need things to do now. I need to like more things to do. I've been doing a lot of... Watching a lot of movies and stuff like that, but I want more stuff to do. So Consume more media. I'll I'll let you go ahead and start it off. Okay. Uh, my first list here is uh, 
CNBC. Yeah. Um, their first one is Color or Doodle. Okay. So, you know, you're sitting at home. Can't do much else. Grab a piece of paper. Go get those markers that have been sitting in your closet for God knows how long. Uh, and, and just, just start, start scribbling. Start doodling. You know, it might not be great, but it's like Bob Ross says. You know, beat the devil out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was really waiting for what you were going to say, because... Well, he always says. I know stuff. he says like as long as you're having fun. It's yeah, good. it doesn't matter. But I, I didn't remember the exact quote, so I had to say <laughs> something that he said exactly. <laughs> happy little uh, tree, um, happy accidents, mistakes. I was uh, a happy accident. <laughs> I actually don't know if that's true. I could ask same my here. Mom. Were you? Do you know? Uh, I was not planned, but so you. Know, you I don't, so you were an, an accident. accident. Yeah, that's, I don't they, care they, what that, a parent, that's the nice way of putting it. I don't care what a parent says. If you, if I was not a planned child, then I was an accident. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I might have been planned, or I might have been a happy little accident. Well, um, who knows? Who knows? coloring? <laughs> yeah, go color. Like Bob so. Here's Ross what says. you do: you go to the store. Yeah. The where there's lots of people. Where and you get a coloring book. Uh, well, no, don't get a coloring book. Go buy a, uh, go buy a thing of, like, markers and crayons and color pencils. Get, like, all the supplies you'll need. But don't use paper. Use toilet paper <laughs> to color. That's a good idea. To color. <laughs> you uh, know, since everyone, you hoarded all of it. Yeah, everyone, everyone needs it. So the supply and demand thing, it's like, it's like high. So there's a lot of supply, a lot of demand. If you make art out of toilet paper, you can sell it for very high. Yeah, and since you know everyone, since pretty much everyone else is unemployed right now, <laughs> yeah, you know you that'll get you a little bit of home income as well. You Someone might have like, to do oh, like a barter is- system, like fifteen gallons of milk for my toilet paper art, but it'll be okay. Even and be sure to f- be sure to end that transaction with a nice firm handshake, and then lick your hand. Yeah, and then. Just smooch him. <laughs> yeah, and then give him a big old kiss right on the lips. Just French him right there. Yeah, French him. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> <coughs> oh no. Uh, okay. I'm on USA Today. dot com. Okay. I've got a hundred uh, things to do during oh, the coronavirus. God. How quarantine. long is this episode going to be? Uh, it's going to be <laughs> three hours long. Uh, the first thing on their list is to complete a puzzle. The more pieces, the better. Feel an extra saucy? Take on a Rubik's Cube. More of a wood person? Do a, a word person? Do a crossword puzzle. <laughs> Are you more of a wooden person? Are you more of a wooden person, Pinocchio? Are you like a mannequin? <laughs> Are you like a boy who actually doesn't exist, Pinocchio? Are you a puppet? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, do, a, do a puzzle. Can I say that as soon as you go to doing a puzzle, you're... Like a half a step away from actual insanity. <laughs> That's true, I guess. Um, maybe for this one, maybe become a wood person. Yeah, become a little. Figure puppet. out how to turn yourself into a wood person. Uh, use dark magic, of course. Yes. Here's the thing: you can't get coronavirus if you're wooden. If you're made of wood. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> It's true. You don't see trees getting scared of coronavirus, do you? What if, like, in the next week, all the trees got up and jumped into outer space? Like, they uprooted <laughs> themselves? And they jumped into um, space because of the coronavirus? <laughs> I can't even respond to that. I think you can. You're just too scared to. <laughs> too scared you to coward. face the truth! Um, I would try to, I don't know, stop them? I don't know. <laughs> I, would, I would prevent them from doing it. Well, no, they already did it. They did it at night, so no one would stop them. Oh, well, I'm awake most of the <clears> night. <throat> they did it between 7 a.m. and uh, 10 a.m. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're definitely not awake. <laughs> I don't think I've been awake at those times in, like... When did you graduate high school? Five years. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, but yeah, anyway. that's my thing. 
What's your thing? Uh, my next one. It says go for a walk. Ew. What's wrong with me? <laughs> like, why would I do that? Who would ever do such a thing? Who would ever? Ever. <laughs> <laughs> also, I thought you weren't supposed to leave your house. Are you just going to walk around your house? Yeah, Governor Andy like Brashear says don't leave unless you have to. And at this point, I think all of the world's religions are dissolving, and we have to follow him into the promised land. <laughs> He is our new prophet. He is the prophet. He is... He is our Moses. He will lead us. He will part the coronavirus. To the, to the promised land. He And he will lead us to the land of milk and honey. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, forget going for a walk. That's just not going to happen. Yeah, don't go outside. You can't go outside. If you're self-quarantining you in your house and and you go for a walk, you're already breaking the rules. You're no longer self-quarantining. You're breaking the rules. Uh, but yeah, what well, are we going to say? That one's next. Uh, I don't really know. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's your next one? <laughs> um, mine is to start a journal or a blog. Sure, it can be about the coronavirus, but it could also be about specific interest from chess to cheese. I think any journal you make during this time, it has to be like day one, day two, day three. It has to be that format. It can't be like dates. It has to be like ominous and creepy. Yeah, it has to. I think it. I know it said it can be about any like specific interest or anything, but I think it kind of has to be about corona. Yeah, and then you document your um, descent into madness. Have you seen that video? And I know this is a little unrelated to what we're talking about at the moment, but it is related to, <laughs> to the situation at hand. Have you seen that video of the of the guy? At, I guess it's Walmart, and he's like carting out a new pallet full of toilet paper, and the people walk up to it like zombies and start like ripping it apart as he's walking it out to where it's supposed <laughs> oh to go my God. and he just backs away <laughs> they're not like in the, the the scariest part is is they're not like doing it like viciously they're just like slowly tearing meticulously it, meticulously tearing it away and just ripping it apart uh, it's terrifying yeah can everybody cool it with the toilet paper? Toilet pa- it's not... My dad has said this. Uh, my dad, Adam Sandler, has said this. Um, <laughs> you, it's not a disease that makes you shit. So, like... Well, here's the problem. Is it... Uh, I just... I don't even want to get into it. Because it's... Some idiots bought it. Now everybody's rushing to find well, it. Well, yeah. I've, I've, I've yet to coin this term. But it's it started off as panic buying. And now it's buying because of panic. It's ridiculous. Anyway. I've made up that term. So uh, if anyone else uses <laughs> it, you owe me uh, $30,000. Wow. You hear that? Yeah. Anyone else uses it? Works. I'm coming after you. I'm going uh, to sue you. I'll sue you. <laughs> My next suggestion. Yeah, your next thing. From my website is sleep. Just until... You know that Green Day song, Wake Me Up When September Ends? <laughs> Do that. Wake me up <laughs> when April ends and tell me... And if, But only just say like one sentence to me. Just go, it's still here or it's gone. And then I'll either wake up or go back into hibernation. Yeah. I've been doing that. I've been getting a lot of sleep. Um, as soon as I came home, my sleep schedule got completely fucked up. Um, what do you mean? At school, I was doing like I was going to bed at like ten, being a good little boy, waking up at time uh, so I know I didn't miss any classes. Because last semester, even though I passed uh, all my classes well, I was not the best with atten- <laughs> attendance. Yeah, so I, I I started to set like a good little uh sleep schedule for myself i'd go to sleep at 10 wake up at like eight you know god um but as soon as i get home staying up till like two on average uh five is my high score so far um i i don't really want to say my high score well i i know your high score is pretty high but i was just so used to going to bed at like anywhere between 10 and 12 yeah just so I could make sure that I got plenty of sleep. Uh, that, you know, 
I just know now that my sleep schedule is completely and utterly fricked, dude. Yeah, definitely. So I've been, I've been, I've been catching up on that sleep, boy. <laughs> I, I literally like, <clears throat> so I set my high score last night, and I woke up and I was like, it was one, and I was like, oh, oof. because <laughs> <laughs> I don't like sleeping very long because I know, especially when I'm home, my mom doesn't like it, so. I don't like to don't like to pee her out. I know it doesn't actually like make her matter anything, yeah. but still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Cuz I woke up exactly at 1 to a text from her saying time to get up and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, I guess you could just hibernate through this. Yeah, Why just not? hibernate through the whole thing. Why not? Why not? You know, it'll definitely <laughs> reduce your anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay, so my next thing. Yeah. A little strange. Uh, if it won't bother your neighbors, dust off that old instru- instrument and practice. Um, <clears throat> now, I guess it's saying don't bother your neighbors if you're, like, in an apartment or anything, but where I live, and especially where you live, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, so I should just, like, I see a keyboard in my closet. Should I just pull that out and start going to town? Just start going to freaking town, bro. I, I d- mean, t- also to be said, I do not know how to play the piano at all. <laughs> the piano, uh, I don't either. The piano. Um, the only instrument I know, well, I guess I know two. Um, the recorder, but I don't have a recorder. Uh, at least not a <laughs> can, dusty. Can you one, play so hot cross buns? <laughs> I definitely can. <laughs> uh, that is the only song I remember. We did. I don't know if we've talked about this on the podcast, but in my elementary school, we were taught recorder karate. <laughs> what does uh, that, that mean? <clears throat> so there were songs, and each level of difficulty was tied to a specific color of uh, karate belt. A belt, but it wasn't. Um, it wasn't a belt. It was like this little piece of ribbon that we would tie to the end of our recorder. <laughs> so it, it was a it was a belt for your recorder. It went from a white belt all the way to a rainbow belt. Hot Cross Buns was the white belt. Yeah. I think my high score, and I we definitely made up some of these some of these belt colors, I think. Because my high score was like aquamarine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's like an aquamarine or teal belt. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know if there's I a don't rainbow think belt. I think so. I, I thought don't... black belt was the highest. Yeah, and then you just get different degrees of black belt. Like, I'm a 12th degree black belt. I could literally punch a hole into the earth. Um, other than that, I also know how to play... <laughs> a hole the, into the earth? Yeah, because I'm a 12th degree black belt. Um, other than that, <laughs> I only know how to play uh, the trombone. Ah. And I did. I haven't played that since, like... Eighth grade, uh, which is forever ago now. Yeah, uh, and it's probably collected dust. It's like sitting in a garage. Either I think it's in my dad's in my dad's garage. That's just sad. sitting there collecting dust, unless he threw it out. Well, there you there you go. Go fetch your trombone out of the garage. But I'm and... at my mom's house. If I have to go to my dad's well, house, I start can walking. Exposed. I do have a car. No, Gas you're not is allowed so to use cheap cars. because of this. You, have you realized that it's like a dollar seventy? Chase, I haven't left the house. You said you've left the house twice. You. I didn't it. drive though. Oh, but you didn't even pass a gas station. No. Well, if we oh. did, I wasn't paying attention. It's a dollar seventy now. Oh my god. It's like a dollar seventy one. It. Um. I. Fa- I sound like like a fifty year old man talking about <laughs> gas prices now. <laughs> <laughs> gas prices are so low I remember being a kid and I know we're getting sidetracked but I think this is good for the podcast yeah um, <laughs> yeah sure um, make your excuses I remember being a kid and thinking adults getting excited about gas prices is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard <laughs> and I'm only 19 now I mean I'm technically an adult but still uh, and I'm already like being the guy who's like dude gas is Guess it's a dollar seventy. That is so crazy. <laughs> Back in my like day, I freak out when it when it drops below two dollars. 
I'm like, no way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, here's the problem. Where are you going to go with it? That's, I mean, well, yeah. Hence the Shut drop. Up. What if, uh, what I'll do is I'll just like, You'll just because I know no one's like raiding the automotive section of Walmart. I'll just go buy like a bunch of like of those red gasoline uh, canisters <laughs> And I'll just go fill up as much gas so as I can. So you're gonna hoard those. gas. I'm gonna hoard gas like people hoard toilet paper. And then what? I'll, I mean, I'm bu- buying it for a dollar seventy a gallon. Then I can get a turnaround price on that. I'll sell it like a dollar ninety when it bumps back up to above two dollars, and people will be like, yeah, "Hell yeah, I'll buy your gas." <laughs> Great. I'll get so much money. Excellent. 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 Anyway. Your thing. No. Oh, it's on my thing now. Okay. Um, yeah. The next thing is do yoga. Now, Trace. Okay. If I would love to be the fly on the wall of me trying to do any sort of yoga. I've done. I did yoga once. Oh, uh, you did recently. Uh, because I went on this kick of trying to, you know, not really better myself, but just be able to like be more energetic in the mornings. Okay. So I like I downloaded this app that gave me a better like schedule of like what you should do when you wake up. It's like drink water as soon as you wake up, get your body flow it gets like your juices flowing. Specifically uh if the juice is water. Uh gets all that flowing, makes you a little bit more energized, wakes you up in the morning, and it was like do a little bit of yoga, stretch out. That's always good. So I looked up like this yoga routine. And this was when I was still in my dorm. Uh I can talk about my roommate openly now. Oh my god. I, I just realized that. I don't have to go see him ever again. Ever again? Well, well, I mean, I might see him in passing, but I'm definitely... I'm not rooming with him next year. I'm I'm already making plans to room with some friends, so I have a more enjoyable experience. Okay. Um, But, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, not, I'm still not going to shit talk, um, but I can do that now. I just realized that. Oh no. You better watch out. <laughs> Oh no! And I, I like turn around behind me, and he's there. And he's, he's there. There's like a I'm in my basement, but there's like a window in my wall, and yeah. he's like looking through it, and I'm like, oh. uh, <laughs> that would but, be horrifying. Um, it was dark. It was pitch black in the room. It was like seven a.m. Uh, and I didn't want to turn on the lights because he was sleeping. Yeah. Um, so, so you did yoga in the dark in a. In a, I assume, kind of small room in the dark while another person is in that room. While they were sleeping. Yeah. And I, I stared at him as I did it. No, See, I didn't do that part. I feel like the perfect morning routine is you wake up, you kind of you, you kind of grunt, lay. you r- wearily roll over, you open your phone, and then and you, you scroll through shit for, for about hour. 30 minutes. Oh. Then you get up, and you kind of putts downstairs, and then you or upstairs or, or wherever just in, your yeah. wherever your kitchen is, yeah. <laughs> and then you eat a bowl of cereal. That's yours. <laughs> that's just your. I think that's a morning perfect routine. Though. Here's the thing: is most of the time because my family likes or my family thinks that I like <laughs> sleep really late, but here most of the time I don't sleep that late. What I do is, I'll wake up at a decent hour, 10-ish, 11-ish. I know I'm saying decent hour, and there are people listening to this like, what the f- I get up at like 8 because if, I have a job. If they <laughs> if they heard my brothers, when he's off, how late he sleeps, they'd be like, what? Well, you all also stay up till the ass crack of dawn. Well, you know what? It's like This a, is I America. Have to, I, I struck, well, I'm not like, I'm not saying you can't, I'm just saying... I struggle to like keep up with you guys most of the time. Um, but yeah, your high score what is what five. Well, recently, yeah, I know. I've pulled all nighters. Remember, remember Black Friday? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was um, horrible. <laughs> yeah, and I also like crashed my brother's car that day <laughs> as well because of the lack of sleep. Um, but uh. What I do, because my family likes to think I sleep real late, but what I'll do is I'll wake up at like a, a somewhat decent hour and I'll just like lay in bed on my phone because I'm too comfortable. <laughs> and I'll be there for an hour or two. 
just like scrolling through stuff. I'm like, I should get up. Like in a in a, in a ten minute interval, I'm always like, I should get up, and I'm like, nah. just a couple more things, <laughs> and I'll I'll scroll for another like ten minutes. And I'll be like, I should get up, and it just repeats until I'm finally like, I'm getting up <laughs> because yeah. I have to pee or something. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, is it my thing now? Yes, oh, it is. Okay. I I talked about doing yoga, <sighs> and I think that's a horrible idea. Uh, USA Today says, text all your exes just in case you have one more thing you wanted to get off your chest. That sounds like the worst idea I've ever heard sounds in like my a entire bad idea. life. Sounds like a bad idea. I, 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 you know, I think texting nobody is kind of a good idea, though. Is that why you don't text me anymore? <laughs> is that why you don't like me? Is that why you don't look at me anymore in the eyes? <laughs> well, I can't right now. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, that's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not See, good there idea. are girls that I never even technically dated. That that's just like that wouldn't be a good idea to do. I should just text every girl that I have in my phone right now. That wouldn't be weird at all, right? People I haven't spoken to or seen in five years. That'd go great. I was about to say, I was about to say, how many is it? Like your mom? <laughs> yeah, your mom. My mom. That's the only <laughs> one. <laughs> your mom, your aunts, and like maybe two other people. It's not very nice. Look, I'm just saying, bro. Don't just say. That's you're supposed to look, apologize. I'm just, look, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> Here, we have we have these personalities when it comes to the podcast and also real life. So you're supposed I to always, be the mean one. I always I always hurt your feelings. <laughs> you hurt me. <laughs> and you slowly resent me <laughs> until thirty years from now you blow up and like shoot me. No, it's like fifty years from now and I push your wheelchair down a cliff <laughs> you think i'm gonna be in a wheelchair by 70 if i have my way <laughs> I'll, I'll i'll bust your knees i'll come to the knee <laughs> yeah oh god but yeah that that sounds like literally the word like i said there are girls that i'd never technically dated that that wouldn't be a good idea to text them and be like hey all this corona stuff's really got me thinking it <laughs> got me thinking about things it got me thinking about things. And uh, have you ever thought about <laughs> death? <laughs> um. Yeah. Who really like? I I know there are going to be some people who are like I do, but like, who really keeps in contact with their exes? Like, is that ever a good idea? I, I'm going to be honest. I don't keep in contact with people very well in general. Yeah. Unless... Like you said, like it's not an exaggeration. There are very few contacts on my phone. Well, yeah, but the thing is, is you kind of like that. <laughs> it's <this> true. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a very. See, my mom, my mom wanted to know. She said, "How's Sam liking this?" Because she knows <laughs> how introverted you are. Uh, um, she's like, "How's Sam liking the quarantine?" And I was like, "I don't know. I guess he is." I mean, it's fine right now. I and think... my cousin, my cousin, he's like, maybe met you once. Was like, is he socially awkward? <laughs> I was like, I mean, a little. <laughs> Am I socially awkward? You know, a tiny bit. I feel like he should know that. Are you? <laughs> yes. At least a little bit. Like, yeah, I think like the tiniest bit. I think you know how to act in a social situation. You oh, just yeah. don't like to be in a social situation. Uh, meeting new people is kind of awkward sometimes. Well, I think that's, I mean, that's true with me too. Like, I could talk someone's ear off if I know them, but if, if we're, yeah. like, if this is the one or, the first, the one or second time we The one or. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. The <laughs> one Do I, ever, do I have this much trouble, I don't realize it, do I have this much trouble no, speaking, you don't. not recording? I, well, maybe. Okay, yeah, that's true. Um. The first or second time I meet someone, it's it's really hard for me to talk to them. And I'll the thing is, is I always like in my head, I'm like, I should say something. Maybe I'll talk about oh, this. Oh, that's like, the worst. Nah, just, well, if you like, just keep. I've got my like one hand on the steering wheel, and I'm like, Ugh. Ugh. oh. I either do that or I overcompensate for that, and I'll just like over talk. I'd never do that. Annoying. Well, yeah, I know. I just sit there and I'm thinking, should I say something? And I'm like, no. no, never. I would rather never. die. 
Never say anything. Don't speak. Never speak at anyone. Don't speak at them. Do not speak at them. <laughs> um, okay, babushka. <laughs> All right, my next one. Yeah. Uh, chat with a friend. Okay. Hey, I Sam. think this is good. Hey. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Um, that was fun. That was fun. Call, text, email, or video chat with your friends and family. Or record a podcast with your friends. Exactly. Honestly, I mean, for the people who've been with us since the beginning, you know it's not that hard. Um, yeah, you gotta know. Like the, like the beginning beginning. You know it's not that hard because, you know. You just... I think because because one of my earlier points was it was like, start a blog. I mean, start a podcast. Everyone does it. No, so. stop. Don't encourage people. Yeah. There's like, already too there's... many. We can't make any headway. Uh... Oh, yeah, I just got this CNN and also Fox News and also every other news website notification. It says that all podcasters get coronavirus. Oh, no. Ah. Well, well, we'll keep doing it so you yeah, all we'll don't. we'll soldier on. We'll soldier on uh, just to protect everyone else. But everyone right. else, don't make podcasts and also stop making it's podcasts. It's very dangerous. You all should Joe stop. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, I've got you on the phone. Stop making your podcast. You don't, get get, you don't want to get that sicky cough. That's you bad. That, you don't want to get that sicky cough. It's icky. The, Mac no, the no, McElroy no. brothers. You oh my stop. god! You gotta hey, what's down. up? You guys got to stop. You're gonna get sick, and you all have babies, little children. They say that they're shutting down like essential businesses. I don't think podcasts are. Oh, uh, they should. They should because all podcasters are going to get corona. That's right. So. They should. But like like we said, we'll we'll take the brunt of it. We'll 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 bear this cross. Yeah. We'll this will be our burden. <laughs> Has this joke gone on too long? Uh yeah, I think it I think it did. What's your next one? <laughs> I think the joke wait, wait. I think the joke on. went on too long as soon as I said that I got a notification from the news. Oh, you think so? Yeah. That I think was, that it felt got, like about an hour ago? Uh, I mean, it could be hard time. What's your um, next one, though? Uh, write poetry. Perhaps you can craft a haiku for Mother's Day or something without a specific structure. Just try it. Write poetry, hey, huh? Hey, 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 Sam? Yeah? Just try it. You want to write some poetry? Uh, we'll do that next week. It's a little late. It is a little late. Um, it's a little late for poetry. <laughs> There's always tomorrow, though. What if we got really deep? Yeah. I wrote some poems uh, at one point. Did you? Yeah, I did. Like, some serious poems. So, I don't know if I'll share them. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that'd be kind of great. Maybe not, at least publicly. Um, okay. But, you know. Uh, but, yeah, write some poetry. Mother's Day is coming up. Also, my mom's birthday is coming up. So, maybe well, I could birthday. write some... Well... It's not until next month, but, okay. it, you know. Well. My mom's birthday is coming up. Happy birthday. Well, it's not until December, but it's coming up. <laughs> I mean, it is. My <laughs> mom's birthday is coming up. Is it, or is it, It's like... in January. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it is technically coming up. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, maybe I can try that out. Maybe I'll write some Mother's Day poems, or not, or I'll just get her a gift. Dearest like, mother... I'll, I'll sit in my... I have a separate room in my house where it's, like, decorated like an 1800s. You put, like, I'll a put frilly on, collar on? I'll put on my frilly collar and my, like, countryman's jacket. No, nothing else. You, you're you oh, wearing the exact a, same clothes. Or naked. I, <laughs> I was about to say, are you inferring naked? Either I one walk in. is good. I walk in, I'm wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants, but I also have a really that frilly collar. That big, foofy collar. I've got tiny bifocals, and I walk into my 1800s uh, decorated uh, office. You pull your um, quill out of your ink I pull well. my, my extremely huge <laughs> quill. It's like two feet long. Uh, and I, I start writing like this, this 1800s-style poem. The, I'm not even going to start. I can't think of anything funny. The... <laughs> 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 That's a good poem. I like that one. It's my haiku. <laughs> what if I made a? What if I did make a haiku that it was 
just syllables. That's not impressive. <laughs> Did you say C Kyle? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Um, I didn't. Uh-huh, I didn't sure. say that. Sure. Um, that sounds like something that someone who said C Kyle would that say. That sounds like that sounds like something a secret Nazi would say. <laughs> sounds like something Hitler would say. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, but Too yeah, soon. Write some poetry. <laughs> Too soon, dude. <laughs> write some poetry. Write some poetry, guys. Yeah, my next one um, is listen to or play music. I don't know why that is like a quarantine specific thing. I mean, play music. I get it's like you know distract your mind, but like, I mean, I get listen to music. What's wrong with listening to music? You don't listen to music. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm just saying. What's wrong with it? I always listen to music. 90% of the time I have earphones in listening to music. Mostly because I don't like talking to people. Oh, wow. Now now who's like antisocial or whatever? (laughs) Well, no. No, it's like in public. I I don't like just walking silently. (laughs) Because then I start thinking. Start shouting. (laughs) 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 Well, then I start, like, if I'm not listening to music, I start thinking, thinking about and I'm an death. idiot. Like, I'm an, I'm an absolute idiot. I'm an I'm a actual nincompoop. You need to let yourself be alone with your thoughts sometimes. No, because, yeah. and, and I'm not saying this to be, like, dark or deep. My thoughts scare me. Not because I'm, like, not because they're, like, dangerous or anything like that. Just because they're the stupidest things. Like what? Give me an example. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. That's why I don't think. <laughs> that's why I don't think. I don't. You just said to me, that's why I don't think. That's why I don't think. Wake well, up, sheeple. Wake up, sheeple. Stop thinking. The government's controlling No, start thoughts. thinking. Oh. Um, well, no, it's, it's like... I don't know. I'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head. I'll just sit there for a minute and think. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's have a moment of silence go. for Trace's brain. Okay. We'll do five seconds. Okay. I just started imagining um, the thwomp from Mario. You just started uh, thinking about him? Well, yes, but there's more to it. Okay. Um, I started imagining uh, the thwomp with uh, Gary Busey's face. That's a good one. I like that. It is a good one, but it's... Typically not that good. <laughs> Very busy. That's nice. Um, I did. I did like my brain did go a little hyperactive for a second. So it was, was it hyper realistic? Of, it was. Uh, his eyes were bleeding. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and he said, "You are stuck with me now." That's why would you not want to think thoughts like that? Well, here's the thing: is like I said, my brain went into like hyperdrive, and it was trying to think of something that was funny. Oh. Uh, while also being as stupid as it typically is. Okay. Like, 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 other times I'll just, like, kind of talk to myself, but again, it's not, like, in a creepy way where I'm like, you should kill everyone, Trace, and I'm like, that's a great idea, Trace. It's literally, like, me making a noise, laughing at it, and saying, that was very funny. <laughs> yeah, I'll do sh- shit like that and I'm like I guess that was, I should probably listen to music funny. more cause here's what happens in my head I'm always just thinking about what I have to do next well I like here's the thing is not only do I do it so I don't think I just really like music uh, I listen to a lot of classic rock like my biggest playlist on Spotify is my classic rock playlist uh, I also have my alternative playlist which is like a lot of alternative music alt pop alt rock stuff like that mhm I listen to that one a lot. Oh, right. You Nazi. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> alt pop, alt rock, alt right, you know. All the alts. But when I listen to that playlist, I'm, I'm carrying a tiki torch, you know. Um, <laughs> maybe that one was too soon. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. I really like music. It's it's like it's one of my favorite things. So well, then you I should do you that should. in quarantine. Well, no, I'm saying I think you should because oh. I do it a lot. Oh, so I'm I just, should just do like, things that you do. 
Well, no, I'm. Yes, because I'm a I'm a great person. Like I'm literally <laughs> the best person alive. Wow. Really think highly of yourself, Trace. No, I did call myself stupid earlier. Did you say <laughs> highly of yourself? Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Trace is a secret Nazi confirmed. Um, I'm actually. Did you just say of... Nazi? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, I did. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's not do too many moments of silence in this podcast. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I think we should go ahead and wrap it up. Let's okay. Let's get to our last two things. Um, uh, so, we'll, we'll kick it over to Today in History first. Today in History. Yes. Uh, today, of course, is March the 23rd. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 1775, um, Patrick Henry proclaims, Give me liberty or give me death, in a speech in favor of Virginian troops joining the U.S. Revolutionary War. How about that? Yep, Patrick Henry, um, guy... Man with two first names. Yeah, uh, his middle name was actually Tyler. So Robbie. Patrick Tyler Henry. <laughs> um... So, three first names. He actually had 12 first names. Uh, his uh, baloney had a first name. And it was Henry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, well, no. No, go for it. I said Keep Henry. Going. I said it's Henry. Okay. Oh, no. Are you proud of yourself? No, I'm not. Stop. I want, I want, you, to, I want you to go look in the mirror. No. <laughs> That's not entirely true. He didn't have baloney. Well, maybe he did. I don't know. Maybe he did have baloney. Maybe he called it Henry. <laughs> well, he did... It wasn't Miss... Like, you know how a lot of times a lot of uh, famous sayings, they get mistranslated or miscommunicated. Mm. Um, he didn't just say, give me liberty or give me death. He said, give me liberty or give me death or... Give me my baloney, Henry. Give me more baloney. Yeah. He was kind of known as, like, the baloney guy. He was the baloney um, king of Virginia. Uh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was, like, in in middle school, he brought a baloney sandwich, and then he became known as, he, like, he was, he became the baloney guy. They called him baloney Henry. They called him baloney boy at first. Yeah. And then as he... <laughs> And then as he got older and older, he slowly, like, started to get more, you know, dignified. He, he was a baloney started to boy. look more like baloney. He was baloney boy, then he became baloney lad, then he became baloney Henry, then he became king baloney, uh, and then he became king baloney Henry, the first emperor of the baloney lands. Okay. Uh, <laughs> None uh, of and, this is true. And well, no, and as you yeah, it's not true because as you said, he did slowly start to turn into baloney. Yeah. Uh at the point when he says give me death, give me liberty or give me death or give me more baloney, he was pretty much just like a full like sheet of baloney. Yeah. Just laying there. Point. Just kind of laying on the ground. Telepathically human... speaking to everyone. Yeah. Well, no, he had a human face. Still, oh, but... no! <laughs> he started telepathically speaking in, I think, 1779? Um, yes. And then he became known as Oscar Mayer from the... Oh, no. Yeah, he's still alive. They yeah. keep him at the Oscar, Ma... Os... Oscar Mayer factory. Well, yeah, they've, they've, chrono... they've uh, f- frozen him. No, like he's Walt just Disney. immortal. Oh, he's just there. <laughs> He's on a pedestal, and he can read your mind. He sits on a throne of lies, but it's like a—he sits on a throne of lies. But it's like, a, it's like <laughs> is, I think we're done talking about. Is this about, the stupidest thing we've come up with yet? I, th- I think we're done talking about King Baloney Henry, the Emperor of Baloney Land, of the Baloney Lands, also known as Baloney Oscar Land. Meyer. <laughs> okay, moving on. To the holiday corner. Yeah, Sam's holiday corner. Hello. Um, there's a few days of note. First, okay. I'd just like to point out that Cuddly Kitten Day and National Puppy Day are both today. Ooh. So, whatever pet you have, 
As long as okay. it's not like a weird pet, like a fish. Like a ferret. Or like, I guess fish aren't that weird. I just wanted to be mean, I guess. No, fuck fish. You don't have to... No, Sam, you don't, you don't have, have to, to defend fish to me. You don't have to I'm count out of these as, fish pet people. As soon as you said fuck fish... Oh, yeah, you hate fish. I do hate fish. I did own a fish for a very long time. Um, but uh, I do hate them. Uh, but the day I'd like to talk about is uh, Near Miss Day. Okay. This commemorates... Uh, commemorates it commemorates uh, when, commemorate. uh, when uh, the and the meteor almost hit earth how do we know the day <laughs> uh march 22nd and march 23rd of 1989 oh i thought we were talk. wait 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 did you fart no i didn't wait did I hear fascism is great? Did you just say that? <laughs> wait, 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 just a second. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to know the extension of my stupidity? Yes, when please. You said, when you said it's the day that the asteroid barely missed the Earth, I thought about the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That wasn't... A, well, I guess... It was a near miss, technically. A near miss is a misnomer, you know. Uh, well, no. Here's the thing: is that asteroid hit the Earth? Well, yeah. A near miss wouldn't that mean a hit? A near is it miss. nearly a miss, or does it just mean it was close to a hit? That doesn't make any sense, though. I mean, I guess technically it is a misnomer. I'm not defending your stupidity, though. Well, yeah, I'm literally the stupidest man alive. Um, oh my god, I've never felt so dumb in my life. I did start thinking about the dinosaurs. It's okay. And it took me, it took me probably know? a good 15 seconds to realize. I think the best part was when you said, how did they know the day? <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, how did they know the day? <laughs> Here's okay. the thing. Here's the thing. It took me a good fifteen to twenty seconds to realize. Wait, the dinosaurs died because of the meteor. It did hit. <laughs> uh. Um. It's also a uh, Ravenclaw Pride Day, so I'm a Ravenclaw. I'm not. I'm a Gryffindor. Oh. Wow. I'm definitely not a Ravenclaw because I'm not smart. <laughs> so. How about I, I like to think when we're not recording, I'm a. I like to think of myself as intelligent. Yes, and it was but just that everybody has. Do you everyone has those part? moments when they forget that the dinosaurs died because of an asteroid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How did they know the date? How? I didn't know that an asteroid almost hit in the eighties. Yeah, apparently. Um, so anyway. I guess to celebrate, don't get hit by an asteroid. Which will probably oh, happen in be... April, so... Yeah. Or, like, Godzilla will, like, walk out of the ocean. Um, <laughs> or, um... The King of Bologna will come to reclaim his kingdom. <laughs> his Bologna he, he will establish the the kingdom of Satan on Earth. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. Patrick Henry. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this has been From Our Perspective. Thank you all for listening to the podcast. Uh, the best podcast. The only podcast. Ow. <laughs> um, you know, if you have any friends who might want to listen to it, send them our way. Uh, word of mouth is the best way to spread it around. Uh, also, if you or anyone you know has any topic ideas for us, let us know. Uh, within reason, we'll try to talk about it. Uh, if you want more from us for some reason we do have social media uh we post things like updates or uh the occasional funny picture or uh just like little clips or trailers for the for the podcast uh you can find us on instagram and twitter at fop underscore pod and on facebook at from our perspective uh we're pretty much everywhere podcasts are found but if we're not on a specific place let us know uh and we'll try uh, our darndest to get onto that place so you can listen a lot easier. Other than that, 
we post the podcast every Monday, and we will see you next Monday. I've been Trace. And I've been Sam. Bye. Bye.